So hello guys, welcome back again to my channel. This is Grace from Filipina Trend. And as also you can see today, I have another beautiful guest, you know, uh, Jonabel from Filipina Elated. How are you girl? Uh, thank you so much for having me this today. Yes. And yeah, I'm so excited today because finally it's another interview and it's been a year. I mean, yeah, I mean, eight months since I've done this kind of video, yes. so I'm a bit excited, at the same time, nervous. nervous. <laughs> but I know that, um, thank you also for accepting my invitation today, because I know how hard are you at your studies right now, Diba? Right? Yes. So, how busy are you being a college student? Like, uh, to the point, um, when there are uh, other bloggers that, you know, invited me to have collaboration, yeah. I cannot go with them or accept because of um, the schedule of my college. It's actually, uh, we have class seven times a week. Wow. It's so hard. I mean, yeah, it's so busy. It's so busy, like, you have, a, you have a very busy life right now. So how about Love Life, John Ah. <laughs> <laughs> So love life, um, single. Actually, um, a believer of um, if a person will come, it will come. Right. So right now, I'm not really looking for someone like a relationship because um, I am a college student and my viewers know that um, someone support me in my college and I don't want him to, you know, um, I don't want him to, what do you call that? Uh, I can't give him, let's say, I can't give him a low grade so that's why I'm really working hard yes, towards right. my study yeah that's why I'm very proud of you and of course let's congratulate Jonabel for having over 18k subscribers in her channel guys right yes thank so you so much how did you do it <laughs> okay so how did I do it yes um, being consistent is one uh, uh, advice that I can give towards uh, I mean to other, other bloggers yes. Yes, because if you are just being consistent, the people that watch your channel, they will see your channel every single day and that will lead other people to subscribe to your channel. Yes. So you just have to be consistent, upload more videos and of course um, try to uh, know what is your niche while yes. you're trying to uh, convince or trying yes. to deliver because in that way your um, audience uh, will catch your channel. Yes. But do you believe also like all most Filipino bloggers or all the most other Filipino bloggers, even small, also help each other to grow the right? together? Yes, yes, of course. Yes. As I'm, Filipina. Yes. Um, of course, Filipina should help Filipina. I mean, women should help women. Yes. If you are just like small bloggers and you are aspiring content creator and you know someone that um, maybe can help you, then just try to contact them because yes. As Filipina, we really love helping each other. So You're right to yeah. grow together. Yeah, grow together. So that's the main reason. <laughs> so, what are your thoughts about long distance relationship? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> long distance relationship. I have been experience of that. Um, yes. Before, but it has been almost two years since I I have been in a relationship because yeah, for some reason, and then my thought about a uh, long distance relationship is um, other people cannot you know survive it yes. because there might be difficulties and challenge that they can uh, you know they can survive so as for me re uh, long distance relationship actually works but i should have uh, said that um, long distance should only last for seven to one year wow. because if it will take like two years um, it will end up like like no relationship it feels like nothing so it would be much better if after seven months of long distance relationship um, you two should meet together yes and, yes because for us uh, most Filipina don't like like always long distance relationship it doesn't yes. work out uh, it never I mean there's no communications there's no enough communication that's the reason why you broke up together yeah, yeah. and also the other one is like they never give you more importance or your effort is you know, it's not enough for them, mm -hmm. so that's why I just um, decided to, you know, bring up in a relationship because I don't like it anymore. It's toxic. Yeah. Diba? So and um, if you want, guys, if you want a relationship or long distance relationship to like grow, or you two will not grow up at the end. Maybe the technique of that is just putting in effort, as what you have said, like uh, you are in a long distance relationship and it's getting toxic. Yeah. So maybe um, if you are just a long distance relationship, 
you have to be aware of a lot of things about your partner because in that way it can help a relationship to um, last long. Yeah, I would say. Of course, this is another question. I have a funny question. So why do most of Filipino don't use toilet papers in the bathroom? Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so as a Filipina, uh, we uh, actually being raised of uh, our culture, with, which is the tissue here is not very common, it's like, not, yeah. especially in the province area. So here in the city or here in the hotel, you can expect that they, uh, there are a lot of tissues. So yeah, us is we're just being, you know, we used to be. Yes, okay. but actually we use water, guys. <laughs> we don't use toilet paper, it's expensive to buy yeah, all the time. Yes. So we use water and soap and that's it. I was raised in a city and you were born in the province, right? Yes, yes. So for us in the city, even though we are living in the city, we don't actually use toilet paper. We just use um, hand, hand soap and water. That's yeah, it. Yeah. It's not common. But I, I see a lot of videos on I know, um, on YouTube that they're getting... Why is it most Filipinos don't like to use toilet papers during their bathroom yeah. time? <laughs> so I said, why, why should I, right? Uh, so anyways, um, during Sinolog last about last a week we, ago the last week is the sinologue guys we didn't have time to meet up yeah because it was already traffic mm -hmm. i told every one of my viewers that we should meet up during sinologue so we could go there going live in the sinologue parade but uh i didn't happen because um there's too many people and it's crowded it's noisy i told them that i cannot do an interview if it's noisy here yes. even at ayala mall also and even other places here in cebu because it's a big festival as you could you guys know right mm -hmm. So what are you, what are you doing during Sinolo? <laughs> <laughs> so actually, last week uh, Sinolo Day is actually a very fun for me. Though we haven't collaborated yes, that time, I know that's because of the traffic. Um, Sinolog is so fun because I have some time with my friends, my old friends. So though we go to Santo Niño and it was really like, traffic, yes, is. traffic, and at the same time the people there are really a lot. I mean, it's very crowded. But I'm so happy during that time because I managed and my friends managed to get there inside. How tired are you during walking days? <laughs> it was so tired, like to the point like after Sinolog, after um, uh, we arrived home at 6 p.m., uh, we sleep. Wow. Yeah. Me too also. I just came back from Ayalamo and then I cannot you know, drive crazy in traffic. So, so you if, really if go I, here? Yeah. I came here and then afterwards I just came home because there's too many people and it's noisy. And that time like I don't plan to do an interview because when I went here there's another um, you know going on here inside Ayala Mall so it's very noisy. I said I need to go back home. So then it takes for me two hours to get home. Yeah. Because I live down south, mm -hmm. very far from Ayala Mall so I need to take two jeepney uh -huh. or two buses. It depends on where the route is that time. But it was traffic but it was enjoyment because I need to stand up for the whole Two hours. Yeah. Yeah, two hours Seven from minutes. the bus. Yes. Going to yes. south. That's during Sinolo. Yeah. Sinolo, guys. Expect that one. So, but right now, I think, guys, we're going to do a mukbang vlog later wow. on. Wow. Oh, later on. For our dinner, guys, we're doing mukbang vlog. Because wow. I've never done that... mukbang vlog, guys. The last time I, I, I tried this when I was working in the Filipino Lipsy channel, that was last year. We do a mukbang vlog at this. A limited seafood buffet yes. in SMC side, yeah, and also um, like Korean, what do you call it? Korean barbecue, like um, samgyuk, samgyuk, yeah, yeah samgyuk sal. Yeah, I, I do love that also. I know they have somewhere here at Ayala Mall, so let's just tour around, guys. But I think that's all my questions. I just need to congratulate this lady wow. for um, <laughs> you know um, lifting the Filipina you know woman empowerment here for vlogging, and then. I'm happy of what uh, what are my achievements, um, and of course to the other Filipina aspiring content creators. Yes. I'm so happy for them, and hopefully that this this woman just gonna do like a, a lot more content, so that our uh, viewers in outside of the Philippines yes would uh, see how beautiful the, uh, the Philippines yes. are. Yeah, and also I was inspired by Anne for the first time. I watched wow. her, all her videos before when she started it until she go right now. So I was very happy for her guys. And also myself as a, uh, a previous also um, blog content creator in a previous channel and everyone knows me already from there. Mm -hmm. um, 
I was very shy at first. Actually, I don't like cameras, but when I when I grow that channel, also I also build up my confidence in doing some interviews here and Ayala Mall and other um, places, and and also um, helping like other also people that needs help. But I don't actually put that on social media mm -hmm. or even do some videos because I do it myself, right? So if you want to help others, it doesn't need to be like. You yeah, always yes. like always do, on camera. Yeah, always on camera or you don't need to vlog that all the time mm -hmm. if you want to help in person. Yeah. Right? So I just help that like behind me you know, behind me vlogging. Be behind the camera. Yeah, behind the camera. And That's same better. with me. Yeah. Like, same same with me about the what you call that I forgot the the confidence. Yes. Because before when I started vlogging, um if you would uh see my oldest video, I mean it's so cringe. Because I I can really say that uh, the confidence I have before is just like four percent. Wow, really? <laughs> <laughs> and because of vlogging, I'm meeting a lot of people, talking to my subscriber. It helps me so much, yes. and I'm so thankful of that. I'm so thankful of them. And yeah, yes, so <laughs> yeah. So guys, I think that's all for today's video. So I'm done with um, asking <laughs> Jonah Bell this question. I just want you to to congratulate in person. Thank you. And I'm happy for your achievements in life. Congratulations to you as yes, well. Yes, I know course. that you've been, you know, a lot of challenges in yes. life. Um, let's say, um, you know, personal battles, um, personal and about things that other people don't know. Yes. I know. So, of course, I want to congratulate with you as well. <laughs> and then, of course, your channel that yes, is growing I, up It's growing right now. now. I was happy because it's yes. growing. <laughs> I'm very happy, guys, because I have, yeah, no, I've more subscribers every day it's growing like adding 10 subscribers per day yeah, so yeah. sometimes 20 yeah so i was happy when i look at every day i look at my <laughs> subscriber growing i said wow thank you so much for supporting my channel guys yes thank you so much guys yes. so right now we need to say goodbye because it's already afternoon like almost evening here at ayala mall so i hope you enjoyed this video guys so don't forget to subscribe to my channel click the notification bell give me a thumbs up thank you next for my next vlog bye